Hey, Elda, Tina Koto, hello, and welcome back to the Craftsman Collective, oh yeah, the server for YouTubers on YouTube, right now. <laughs> ah, so today, just want to start off by presenting FBOP's version, probably around 5.8 or something by now. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, I've definitely worked on it, uh, a little bit since last camera, uh, Major, major thing up here with these overflow systems here is that I just moved all the filters to the side so that I can open up the chest and inspect the interior of the chest. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, changed a little bit here. Uh, I've got a lot more timers now. I used to have everything running, most things running off just a single timer. But I've taken a lot of that and I've just replaced them with... Uh, yeah, several timers. I've still got four timers here. I made a couple spare just in case I wanted to be extra crazy with my devices today. <laughs> uh, I noticed uh, how exact this was. This was working fine when I first did it. The idea is, is that in sort of in the one tick, this deployer would be uh, scooping up, a bu uh, turning a bucket into a bucket of water, and the fil this filter here would be filtering out that bucket of water, inputting it into the mixer in the same tick. Like, they would work off the same pulse, but for some reason they don't anymore, so what I've had to do is build a repeater, and this is the first time we've ever seen a repeater on the channel. Uh, so if I go ahead and look up the recipe for this, where are we? Upgrade, apparently. Repeater. So yeah, there's the vanilla repeater there, but Red Power 2 comes with its own version of the repeater, which is the one that I've got down there. Pretty easy to make. It uses a lot of the same components that the timer uses. I've got some cathodes here, an anode, a few wires, and yeah, some wafers. Pretty easy to get. And the real cool thing about it is that it's actually a lot more powerful than the vanilla repeater. You can see here we've got uh, a on one tick a delay at the moment. It goes up to two, three, four. And then I think it goes to eight, 16, 32, 64, all the way up to 128 tick delay which is huge if you want to get a massive delay on something this is the guy to use because it's just in such a tiny space as well which is fantastic but you were just keeping it on the one tick and i decided to make it red power too just to make it fit everything else so yeah now this pretty much works the entire time this gets a pulse to makes a bucket of water and then one tick later this pulls it out so that's cool so that uh keeps the water supplied uh, there's only three buckets in the system at any one time because, see, the thing is, is that uh, you need to leave one space for, if there's three buckets in here, for the, the gravel to get in there. Uh, before, when I've had the system running before this, I was having like four, maybe even five buckets in the system. But yeah, uh, doing it like this streamlines, streamlines the buckets a lot, which is great. Uh, so yeah, this uh, system here is isolated. This works on, was it, 10 seconds? So that pretty much just keeps the mixer full pretty much all the time. Then over here we've got the uh, filter here pulling out of the grinder with its own little timer, 12 seconds. Yeah. On uh, yeah, And, so it goes up to here and into this filter now. See, the mixer is one of the backlog places in this system. I probably want to get this chest upgraded at some point to an iron chest or something. I don't know. I'll do that off camera or something. But yeah, uh, this just fills up. And I've got the timer here on more. Uh, far like longer than it takes for the mixer to process because another so a problem that I was having before is that uh, uh let, let's say like so there would be two stacks of gravel in here or something so what would happen is that if a bucket was a uh, uh well let, let's put it like this uh, I've got the filter here set to put buckets into the white system only and they yeah but that doesn't work if this is full they will actually go up into the chest and that's the thing that i'm trying to avoid here right now I'm talking to you about that system there uh so by doing this i'm ensuring that there's only ever one stack in there at a time so i can supply water cool then this pretty much this is pretty much unchanged here with the sorting machine i removed that uh red pipe there just so that this doesn't pulse extra times it doesn't matter it uses a tiny a tiny tiny amount of power just this one solar panel can generate more power than this uses so that's no big deal uh so yeah uh, that goes up to here uh haven't actually had any overflow into this chest yet the uh the slag furnace can actually keep up with all of the clean 
chunks that it gets. Is that what they're called? I think it is. But yeah, regardless, I do have that overflow protection. It's just set to 10 seconds. I used to have this timer connected to uh, this device here, but as you'll see, uh, this device here is connected to the mixer. I mean, the, what is it? The crystallizer. Yeah, it kind of looks a little bit the same as the mixer. That's why I got muddled there. Yeah, uh, in the last version of FBOPS, the crystallizer was not uh, automated, but it now is. Uh, I was having a bit of trouble with Red Power 2 working with it properly. Uh, Red Power 2 filters were pulling out of a... Uh, these these are ex outside bits as well, but I've discovered that using Buildcraft it doesn't. So this the pretty much the rest of here is Buildcraft. Uh, yeah, so with this is pretty much all full, and then we've got a timer back here connected to the exclusively to this filter, I might add, and it's 300 seconds, five minutes. So it pulses every five minutes, and this uh, makes uh, crystals every 20 minutes. So that's just you know. So, does it, so this was this thing here was pulsing every 10 seconds so basically you know there were these uh there was a stack of this pretty much in that uh in this tube all the time so and i didn't really want that so i bumped the time up a bit and yeah so it pulls out an entire stack and it tries to go in here remember that's the the idea it will go in here it'll fill up these stacks here and then yeah go in oh there it goes now so yeah uh yeah cool just went in there and it goes back so as you can see pretty much all of this used to be completely full it's finished processing all the iron ore as far as i can tell i i think i lost some iron ore somewhere along the line i'm not sure what happened to it but yeah i feel like i've actually lost out on some iron here i don't know if somebody stole it or whatever but either way it's gone well, anyway, so yeah, it comes down here to a furnace. The uh, the crystals get turned into a uh, an ingot. I didn't actually show this in the last episode, but I've got heaters underneath here. this furnace here, this crystallizer, this slag furnace, and this furnace here. So they're all connected into my uh, solar turbine network here. Uh, didn't yeah, didn't really show it. Uh, there's a whole heap of uh, wires. You can barely see it here, just uh, kind of running underneath. I've pretty much hidden it all away. Don't really need to see it. Uh, yeah, also as well, they actually go upwards and into this mixer and grinder, sort of freestanding, very different to just a red red aloe wire. Yeah, so that that's cool, that's cool. And then this back here, well, this hasn't changed. I think this is just still on 20, 20 seconds. Okay, so yeah, that's actually shorter than this process, longer than this process. So basically, so we're at the point where... The system is pretty much done. Uh, <laughs> I can leave the system on for days. You know, I, I have left it on for days. It's been... I haven't turned it off since the last episode, basically. I tweaked with it the day after the last episode. But yeah, and then ever since then, I pretty much left the system on. And days later, it's still going. As in broken, it's still going. And the end result was quite cool. Oh yeah, so... Uh, yeah, that this just pulls it out pretty straightforward. It goes into an auto crafting table here, turns them into blocks of iron for storage, and then we got three and a half stacks of iron blocks. That's not as much as I was expecting. Well, that actually might not be too unreasonable. See, each of those is about what is that? That's nine stacks, which is one of these, one of those, one of those. I actually started with about a little over three stacks, a little over three rows of iron ore. So if you do that logic, basically this entire chest should basically be full of iron ingots, but it's not. Again, somebody might have stolen the iron, but I don't know. Did they think that I wouldn't notice? I have noticed if you're watching. Oh, hey, look, look at that. Yeah, there we go. We can watch this system in action here. Yeah, if you stole my iron, it's cool. I've, I've still got a huge ton here still processing. So yeah, those crystals go into the furnace. And the thing about this that I've noticed is that if this isn't all the way powered with factorization, it'll actually take quite a long time to process. But once the fire goes all the way up like that, you can see the, the arrow is actually going a lot faster. Of course, it's lagging a little bit, but intercontinental server connection. So that'll pass for me, I think. We're doing quite well, I think. In terms of lag tonight, nobody else is on. It always helps. 
So yeah, all the iron goes into here. Out comes an iron block, and into the chest it goes. Pretty cool. Uh, I think probably some kind of super duper futuristic system that I'd have. This would probably go into some kind of ender chest, and then that would go into my sorting system for the tree. And speaking of the tree, I'm not sure if I showed this off, but Cat made me a uh, a new linking book because I'm a Mr. Craft noob. But yeah, speaking of the tree, uh. Let's go ahead and take a look at the progress. I've made quite a bit of progress since the last episode. You're probably going to be pretty excited about it. Also, there's a plane flying over here right now. My window's open. Yeah, let's just go take a look. Where are we? There we are. It's around about here. Oh, there it is. Oh, by the way, I lied. <laughs> I, I, uh, uh, I haven't done anything. I actually really wanted to do this on camera. I really feel like I'm the Craftsman Collective. I want to take a new direction with these episodes. Uh, kind of do a bit of building on it. Let me know what you think, of course. If you do really want to... But I just want... I'm just here to see you mess around with these mods. I don't want to watch it build. Building's boring. Boo! So feel, feel free to say that, but maybe not in so many B words. <laughs> yeah, we need to... Uh, kind of flesh this out a little bit more. I saw a suggestion on the last episode that sort of said I should try uh, sort of the same tactic that Doc was using to build his tree, uh, kind of having dirt rings and saplings and bone meal, but that's a great idea. It's just that I don't have any bone meal. Well, Rock's got a huge amount of bone meal over in his mob farm, which I, he would no doubt be more than happy for me to use up on my project just because there's just so much of it. I've still got all my inventory from building f-bops oh yeah i'm i think i'm just going to take a quick break here and when i come back we will begin work for real on the tree so yeah see you in a little while it's raining it's raining on the craftsman collective we're trying to wait till it's night Then at last I'll be able to sleep But not too deep Because in the morning we are going to build Ourselves a tree house made out of oak wood. <laughs> it's going to be amazing and lots of fun. There were probably way too many syllables in this song. But hey, who cares, it's just a game. <laughs> Alright, welcome back. I hope what I'm going to do there is actually try and put in a bit of a commercial break there. I think that was a good place to try one. Yeah, that's a tactic that B00 does on his videos. I think I might just give it a shot. I've tried it before, but I didn't do very well because I picked my app breaks wrong. Anyway... <laughs> So I've just done a little bit of work off camera here, just got uh, expanded the dirt island a bit, put down some logs. I just want to try a couple of ideas for linking the, uh, the, the the bits of the tree together, making a nice circle. What? This is Minecraft. Circles cannot possibly exist. They can't exist. Hmm. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, it's a bit too diamondy for my tastes. Let's try something a bit different. What if I bring this out a bit? Yeah, uh, big news if you're watching this and you're a bit of a, a bit interested in more content than I'm producing, or if you're new, you're just going, what the heck is this guy? He looks amazing. First of all, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I, I started a new series today. Yeah, today I uploaded it. Well, I've been recording it for the last couple of days. But yeah, uploaded today. Very, very first episode of Freelancer. With the Crossfire mod version 1.9. If, if you're a fan of space simulators, check it out. And even if you're not a fan, that is a great mod for Freelancer. That uh, pretty much updates everything in the game. The game is around 11 years old. 
and the, the the graphical quality that the mod provides is just astounding. As I said, if you're not a, if even if you're not a sim fan, uh, I'd check it out. But I would say that because I'm me and I want people to watch my videos, right? <laughs> yeah, it, I get the enjoyment out of people watching. If you don't, you know, yeah, there we go. Not quite sure how I want to end that sentence, but there we go. <laughs> Just try a little bit more here. How's that going to look? Yeah, that's too square then. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. It's too square now. It's, it's probably... Hmm. Oh, I know what I can do. Maybe if I make it a little bit bigger, would that work? Maybe if I make it a little bit bigger this way. Yeah, what else can I say? Move this out a bit, get a bit more of a feel. I don't really want to make, well I guess I do want to make the base pretty, pretty large. As I said, the, uh, the most of this is actually going to be pretty small. It's going to start big and sort of go small and then get a little bit bigger as we get to the end. That's what I'm trying to go for here in terms of looks, but... Hmm... Well, we let's see, trial and error, we'll see how we go. Probably what I should be doing is actually making the area up there first and then trying to live up there, then do the building. But, you know what, I, I'm new to the whole sort of massive construction thing. You know, I've been playing Minecraft since, what was it, for a couple of years now. I still haven't really made anything huge except my very first castle. Come on, who hasn't made a castle in Minecraft? That was a... Uh, Kind of got a bit of a story there. Uh, avid bird fans will already know this, but yeah, uh, on my very first Minecraft world, which is unfortunately no longer with us because I'm inept. <laughs> yeah, uh, I started off in a cave, as you do. I know it was one of those little holes that I dug for myself. It wasn't even like a, a proper shelter or anything. I just dug a hole. I called that home for a while. Called the home for a lot longer than I expected, actually. But yeah, I uh, did, did eventually sort of go outside and make a, uh, what do you call it? A castle. <laughs> this is actually looking okay-ish, isn't it? Or is it still too diamondy? Now what I was going to do is uh, bring this in like this. Here we go. I'm, I'm onto something here, guys. Work with me. Work with me. How's that look? Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Is that okay? No, that doesn't look quite right. Whoa! Double blaze, okay. What about this? See, I'm, I'm trying to avoid, uh, see, if I stick it on the side, look what's going to happen. See, it does that, and that's not what I want to see, so I'm having to place the dirt down. So that's what the dirt's for. How does that look? Well, that looks a bit too square. Hmm. Yeah, if I want to do something like that, it needs to be, <laughs> oh, man, it needs to be bigger still, doesn't it? All right, uh. This is not going well, so I think I'm going to try doing a bit of this stuff here off camera. I think what we'll do today is head up top side and try and get a little bit of a house going up there. Kind of bit of, a little bit of a birdhouse, not necessarily a, a tree or anything just yet. We'll get a, like a bird bird's house thing that you hang in a tree, something like that. Yeah, that'd be a great look if you have like some kind of landing pad up here. I don't, I don't know, hey, where'd you get up? You probably have a huge landing pad here in the middle would you try to get up okay i just want to keep a keep a good eye on where the middle is or buff that out there we go make ourselves a bit of a platform here uh if you have any suggestions about sort of any mod items that would actually help me out here with uh, doing a bit of building with this uh, i know that build graph's got some stuff but yeah, if, you, if you've got some bristling suggestions in your mind right now about things that I could be doing here to speed up the process, uh, 
I don't read minds. <laughs> You're going to have to tell me if you want me to do it, so yeah, leave a comment. If you've if you've you've got you've got the idea that'll trump everything. Well, well, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe not that. But yeah, some suggestions would would go a long way, I think. At the moment I'm just uh kind of improvising here. Yeah, uh very much your creation as well. I would like I'd like user input in all my builds. That'd be fantastic if everybody could uh so have a say in what the build looks like. That'd be fantastic. Oh, well, we're getting to night time here, and I don't want to end the episode yet. I actually want to think I'll just yeah, get a little bit more going here. Yeah, oh, I know, I know. I'll, uh, yeah. I know, I'll do, I'll do like a, um, a montage thing. I'll get some music. RPM has given me access to a huge, uh, what is it, royalty fee music library. So yeah, why don't I do a quick montage thing, time lapse thing, and I will see you in a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of going for a sort of a, uh, I was originally going for like a sort of a genuine sort of birdhouse look with kind of the roof thing, but I've kind of changed it now from the idea of sort of having these open sides, the idea being that you can like come in pretty much from anywhere. Also as well, I'm thinking this place probably isn't even going to last all that long because I kind of want a nice big flat area just where I can, I don't know, do some testing or work or something or... Play, yeah, play with something, a, a new change to a mod or something, kind of have an area for that, just kind of a central area around the tree. Uh, so this would probably be some kind of storage building or something in the end, but I think it would make a good house up here to start off just while we're uh, getting everything done. I think I'm actually going to end the episode here and pretty much move a lot of my junk from the Ela up here. Uh, probably going to keep 
Might, I'll probably tear down the uh, temporary housing, but yeah, probably keep the books there. As I said, it'd be great to have some kind of a some kind of leap leapfrog sort of thing, like jump from book to book up to here. That'd be great. But yeah, guys, that's all I've got for this episode of the Craftsman Collective. My name's Birdtross, and I will see you in the next episode. Kia ora guys and kia kaha. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of the Craftsman Collective. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to hit the like button. It helps the video out in the search results for Craftsman Collective. Always appreciated. If you're new and you've come here from one of the other Craftsman Collective members, or you're just new in general, might want to hit that subscription button down there as well. You'll be able to find out whenever I upload some more Craftsman Collective videos, or any other type of video. Now on the screen right now, at the top video there is the previous Craftsman Collective episode, doing a kind of a bit more of a talkie around F-Bob's kind of more specifically about what's going on. Down there in the bottom left is my latest Minecraft with Birdtross episode. We actually managed to get an enchanting table. Pretty cool. And down there in the bottom right was that freelancer video I was talking about. Great, great graphics on the Crossfire mod. Again, thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you in another video soon. <laughs>